So in the case of the basic science, we discuss or we conceive the system as a combination of different laws, principles and concepts. That means there we are thinking what is the basis of the system or the product or the event. In the second case, we mostly thought about how the form or the structure or the functionality or the behavior or made. So mostly we are focused on how. So because when we think about the how, we come to know uh, how it is going to meet the uh, certain conditions. So it is always driven by the condition. That's why we said in the last session that uh, uh, engineering is the process to build the suitable form, structure, function and behavior for the different cases and conditions. So now the question is, who are going to decide or propose these conditions and cases? That means there is a particular condition we need to build a solution for. When this question comes, there you have to answer with why. That is, why a particular product is for? why a particular event is happening. So there may be lot of reasons behind a particular product uh, to be successful or to be failure. So where uh, we need to talk about the requirements and the conditions. So whenever we say in the suitable suitability who decides the suitability at the same time different conditions and cases who are going to decide these conditions and cases is nothing but the designer because designer design is the process in which uh, we are going to understand different cases conditions and which we generally call it as context so after understanding the context the designer decides what kind of solutions or uh, what kind of uh, different uh, uh, conditions we need to satisfy to fulfill the requirements. That's the reason why catching the requirements or capturing the requirements is very important in the case of the design. So that's why in the general definition of the design we give the context driven system development or context driven the product or the uh, concept development the context context means there may be different conditions different cases where certain requirement to be met so those requirements who will capture as a part of design the designers would capture that so that is the reason why here we are going to discuss what is mean by design. So before discussing that, suppose if you take any product. So now we started our discussion with if somebody asks you, did you understand about the product? Did you understand the pro about the product completely? So your answer should be, you must understand the basic science completely and you must understand how different parts are connected together and formed into a particular form and how it is exhibiting the functionalities. Now, you understood what is the basis, how this is built. The question comes in, these two again depends on or changes with different conditions and different cases. So who would define those cases? So those cases are defined by, as I told you, the designer. Now, in the case of the design, we are mostly going to ask about why. Because if there is a product, I have shown you, uh, this is the cup, teacup. In this teacup, 
we have a form we have a, a functionality which is holding the water at the same time it has some different parts so when we say this is the engineering object clearly i understood the engineering and what is the basis of that also i understood but why it is hard? so it must be satisfying a requirement so that is what mean by condition condition means it must be satisfying a requirement if there is no satisfying the requirement one if you say product why people will buy that's why before developing anything before understanding the basic science you must know why you are doing it for so this why concept the story of why will start with you to understand the different conditions and scenarios and capture requirements in those conditions and scenarios to build something based on scientific principles okay so now uh, i have uh, generally uh, I, i have shown in the class that uh, one person is playing uh, in the uh, in front of the toilet sheet why he is doing something there okay so when he or she doing that now the question comes is it really necessary to create a game like that in front of the toilet sheet so this is appears very funny i know that but if you think is it necessary you will 90% of the people says that it is unnecessary because in that particular condition in those particular uh, environment that kind of thing is uh, appears like a stupidity am i right so at the same time the second example if you see we have a mouse in that mouse where the connection is coming your connection key is coming at the bottom but the basic basic working style of the mouse is you have to drag it on the surface am i right so when you want to drag it on the surface if you actually make the form or the structure like this that is not going to work at all it's not supporting the user so in the first case it is not necessary for the user in the second case it is not convenient for the user user want to use it but it's not convenient because you made form or a structure like that in the third case if you see one person taking uh, his uh, children uh, sitting back side but in order to create a more room he kept the basket and he made a hole there so that in the small portion he created uh, more space so that he could accommodate the two children there suppose if you ask me is it a good idea may not be a good idea but it is satisfying his requirement that means the carrier which we are giving at the back side of the cycle may not be sufficient enough or meeting his requirements that's why he made some small design changes i don't say they are wrong but he made some changes those changes actually fulfilling his requirement so user requirement plays a very very important role so user requirement in those particular conditions very important role to uh, decide how to what to build and how to build based on what science okay after that how and what will come but basically why you are building something you must know what requirements you are meeting you must know right so this way in the third case in the third case there is nothing because the fan is situated or connected to the uh, stick Dr- uh, those sticks chopsticks when the chopsticks is connected with the fan the first problem is is it not convenient for the user if user is uh, really feeling problematic with the hot uh, soup or something he can go for other approaches because the design change introduced here which is uh, uh, sticking the fan to the uh, chopstick 
is going to create some inconvenience for the user right so it is not a proper design or good design that addressing uh, the person's requirement at the same time to on the, the fifth one if you see uh, somebody connected these uh, grooming elements to the uh, grooming as well as this uh, uh, some some cleaning elements to the shoe even though the idea appears very interesting but using them is going to be very 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 uncomfortable am i right so this is what we need to understand we must know why we are building things first in those all example if you see in those all example there is a engineering part there is a science part also you can explain in all those cases but if you ask somebody they will laugh at you what kind of engineering this is because in one case it is stupidity in other case it is inconvenient in next case it is not good for safety in next case it is completely uncomfortable to eat in the next case it is it will create lot of stretch on your legs so so inconvenient and inefficient so in first case it is appearing unnecessary in second case comfort problem is there in third case safety issue is there fourth case comfort problem is there fifth case efficiency issue is there that means if you think why you are building something for before you or you start building something then your output would be very 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 convenient so that is where design actually plays a role to find out what are the requirements in what conditions needs a solution so it finds the requirements it finds the conditions in which we need to build a solution so to find that requirements can be many types and conditions also can be many types right so based on this one actually we can say design is nothing but a process of building a system a process of building a system based on requirements and conditions the process of building a system based on requirements and conditions because either one if you miss you can't build a right system after that you can use your engineering and science but basic is you must know why you are building it first if you do mistake there you eventually do the mistake your whole system become a failure understand now this is the way you need to understand suppose any system you take that may be a tea cup kettle or a fan or a ceiling fan or this computer or the scissors uh, your mobile phone anything you take it is built for meeting certain requirements it is built for creating certain level of convenience it is built for meeting certain level of uh, addressing the certain level of necessities am i right so if you don't appreciate these necessary requirements and the conditions in which you have to achieve these things you are going to make something a failure product so that is the reason why design is most important because design is going to understand the context or conditions in which you need to capture the requirements and you have to build solutions in those conditions to fulfill those requirements that's why i define a design term design building the systems or solutions with the deeper contextual understanding okay building the systems or solutions with the deeper contextual understanding 
the contextual understanding is you need to capture the requirements at the same time you need to capture in what conditions and cases the solution should be achieved so if you consider these two in the name of context the context driven solution development is called design so what is the capability you need to build as a designer is understanding the context understanding the conditions ability to capture the requirements in those conditions and propose these conditions and these requirements for engineer to build something if engineer build something without understanding these conditions and requirements it's going to be a failure product he build something else which is not at all useful so that's why please remember design is a process of understanding the conditions and the requirements in those conditions which actually helps to build systems which are very which are addressing those requirements in those set of conditions so with this so you you must develop that capability also that means summarizing all the three now if i ask you okay i will give you some system can you understand that system completely you can tell confidently that yes now i know how to understand the system completely first i am going to see the system as a combination of different principles concepts and laws at the same time i am going to see the system as the combination of form structure functionalities and how they are built so what particular case or conditions they built for so this suitability i am going to understand the third case i am going to understand why this system is built for so why this system is built for means what are the different requirements this system is addressing in different conditions or what are the requirements addressed by this system in what conditions this if i come to know now i can confidently tell now i know why this system is built for what are the requirements it is addressing in what what conditions it is addressing what what requirements this is as a part of design now if i go little deeper now i will understand the form with respect to some parameters structure with respect to some parameters functions with respect to some parameter behavior with respect to some parameters which i call it as how it is built for different conditions this i term it as engineering now after understanding this thing now i am going to see this system what are the different basic concepts principles involved at the part level and at the system level maybe at the part level you find different different concepts as i explain you in the case of mosquito repeller at the system level you may find some different concepts like reflection overall reflection of the uh, reflection due to its color in the mosquito repeller so if you understand that now you are understanding basic science behind the different parts and the system now if you understand this deeper now you can confidently say i understood the system okay so this is all about we 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 named it as the system physics system physics means not simply the basic science understand you have to start with why this particular system is for what are the requirements it is addressing what are the different conditions in which it is addressing different requirements then how different parts are built how they are connected then how form is appearing 
then what functions it is exhibiting then what behavior it is exhibiting then you see at a different part level and at the system level what are the basic scientific principles laws and concepts involved if you know these all things about a certain system one particular system then you can confidently say i understood this system so that level of understanding you must have to say i understood something okay so with that we will stop here